Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 47 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to adjust rows and columns inside of InDesign. So right now I have this table right here and you may want to add in some columns or distribute some columns and so forth. So uh, to adjust anything in the table we need to be on the text tool right here. So basically like what you can do is once you're on the text tool you can add, adjust the columns. So I can actually click and uh, resize the columns as I want as you can see right here. Now you can see that whenever I change the uh, size of the column, the uh, it actually affects the columns on the right. If I just want to adjust the line, I can hold the shift key and then uh, readjust it and you can see that it only affects that part of the table right here. I can also press shift and drag this out and once you do that, you can see, uh, see that the whole table size actually increases in size just like that. So that is how uh, tables actually work. If you want to add in a column or uh, something, let's say I'm going to resize this now. And if you want to add in a column over here, you can actually select this table. And you can see that on the top, you'll actually get table options right here. So you can actually rotate the uh, text right here. You can see that you can rotate it out. You can flip it out as well and so forth. So other options are there which you, you, you should practice out. So if you want to add in a column, let's say you can add in rows um, and you can add in columns just like this. As you can see, it is quite easy as well. No, easy as that. If I were to decrease the size, you can see that it'll give me a warning because it'll actually delete the cell. So I'm going to press shift and click and drag and you can see that that is how I can adjust my table just like that. So over here, now what else you can do is you can also adjust tables in uh, like this. So you can go to table, let's say uh, you can also insert rows and columns. So you can see uh, add three more columns so that you can see that three more columns have been added to the top. Let me press control Z on that. So you can actually select any part of the table right here. So just go to uh, table and insert column. So I'm going to put column on the left. You can see that. Let me show that to you again. So just go to table, insert column, and you can see I can add it to the left or right. I'm going to add it to the right and I'm going to add three columns and you can see that three columns are there. So that is how it works. And even the title over here, you can see that now, now this is using multiple cells. I can select all of it. And I can go to table and I can actually merge these out. So I can merge cells, I can even split cells. So if I want to split these cells, let's say for example, I can select both of these cells, go to um, table and I'm going to split them vertically and you can that, see that it actually adds the cell line um, and <clears throat> they're just like that. So if you were to get used to it, you can find it much more easier than Microsoft Word itself. So what you can do is you can also add in a vertical division. So you can go to table right here and uh, split, split, split cells horizontally. All right, so let's just go horizontally and that's how you split the cells, just like that. So now what you can also do is you can unmerge cells. Uh, so you can select the cell and then let's say, for example, select the cell. I'm going to go into table and unmerge cells and that actually unmerges the whole cell as you can see. So I'm then just going to merge the cells back. And for more uh, table options, you can even go to Windows, uh, or you can even go to table right here and go to table option. And there are a lot of options right here. So you can even insert the tables and so forth. So over here, uh, you can also go to uh, Windows, uh, go to layout. All right, so let's uh, just view some table options right here. So for the ta uh, table options, you can simply go to Windows and then go to type in tables and over here you can see something called table. So that actually brings up the table option, the table style and cell, cell style which, will, uh, which you can practice out as well. So I'm going to go to table right here. So we are focusing on rows and columns. So I can increase uh, the rows and columns over here as well. And over here you can see that I can actually set minimum height. So right now if I uh, were not to have any data over here, you can see that the same amount of space is being taken down if I were to decrease this out. So let me just uh, select all of these cells right now and decrease this out. Uh, this is three pikers. All right, so let me just uh, change the size into five. And now I'm going to increase the size of this as well. So I'm going to increase this and you can see that it actually changes the minimum size of the a whole cell just like that. So that is how it works out. So you can decrease it and increase the cell. That's the minimum size just like that. So you can actually adjust it just like that. And you can also type in something. And let's say, for example, if you want to rotate it out, what you can do is you can rotate it, rotate the fonts out just like that. So that is how it works out. So you can also adjust the table width uh, and the leading space uh, 
for any kind of design you want. So that is basically how you adjust rows and columns inside of Adobe InDesign. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.